guys welcome back to the seven engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos today i'm going to analyze the simply supported beam but with the triangular load as you can see the shape of the load acting on this beam is like a triangle so this is not a uniformly distributed load but we can say the triangular load is acting on the simply supported beam so i will draw this i will draw the shear force diagram and find the support reactions that how we analyze this type of the beam with the triangular load first of all we will we will have to find the reactions at the both supports so to find the reactions we should know how much load is acting on this beam so its solution can be started here the, the total load acting on the beam is total load on beam the concentrated load on beam this is the distributed load in a triangular way so to to change into concentrated load we can find its concentrated load in this way the half base into height the area of the triangle this amount of load is acting on the beam so the half base of the beam is the length of the beam which is 5 meter and the height the how much the load is acting magnitude on this beam is 4 kN per meter so we can uh, get it is 10 kN so the 10 kN of magnitude load is acting on the beam. So we, I can draw the line of here, the concentrated load of 10 kN acting on the beam. Now at which point this load is acting on the beam? This is the main point. Now if I consider this is in a triangle, so first of all we have to find the centroid of this triangle. As we know, the, the, from this right side of the beam, we will have the 1 by 3rd length if I consider this the whole length of the triangle while this is the 2 third of the length the centroid of the triangle lies at this point where the distance from the right side is 1 by 3rd of length and from the left side we have the centroid distance of 2 by 3rd into L so this distance will be equal to the 2 by 3rd into L this is the moment arm for this from the left side so the right side will be 1 by 3rd L so 2 by 3rd L the distance the whole length is 5 meter so by putting the value of 2 by 3rd into 5 we get 0.666 meter oh Now after finding the total load on the beam is 10 kN acting at a distance of 2 by 3rd L from the left side we can find the support reactions of the beam the RA the vertical reaction and the RB the vertical reaction. So how to find the respective reactions so I can take the moment summation of moment at point A is equal to 0 and I consider that the clockwise direction is positive. So this load acting is 10 kN acting in the clockwise direction. So 10 into the moment arm. This moment arm is 2 into 2 by 3rd into L. Well, the L is 5 meter. You can see the whole length is 5 meter, which is L. So this is the clockwise, while the other one is the anti-clockwise. You can see. RB into 5 is equal to 0. So I can find out the RB, which comes out to be, if I move into the right hand side, so after calculating, I get my value of 6.6. 6 kN RB. Now I can find the RA is by summation of the vertical forces equal to 0. So the vertical forces is the up downward forces is taken as positive while the upward forces is taken as negative. So the 10 kN is acting downward and the RB is acting upward and the RA is also acting upward is equal to 0. Summation of forces is equal to 0. So RA can be found out by 10 minus 6.66 and RA comes out to be 3.33 kN. So I found out the two support reactions which the RB is 6.66 and the RA comes out to be 3.33 kN. Now I can find the uh, shear force diagram for this beam. Now as I find these two support reactions RA and RB I can easily draw the respective shear force diagram for this beam by extending the two reference lines here and then again there is a reference line 0 0 and this is the shear force 
line shear force I can write it the shear force line for this beam so the low the resistance vertical resistance acting is R is 3.33 so I can move it upward 3.33 kilonewton and then at the load is acting in the downward direction so it will bring it into the downward direction but you should must remember that this load acting is a first degree line right so this is a first degree so your shear force diagram must be a two degree line like parabola so it will bend the shear force will be like in this way and it will touch here 6.66 kilonewton so you can join these two points shear force right yeah so this is the shear force diagram for this beam but you should must remember that this shear force is now a two degree line because your load is first degree line and your shear force will be the second degree line similarly your movement diagram will be a third degree uh, uh, line so i can write it here the zero shear force diagram this is the zero shear force here and the point at which the shear force is zero there will be the maximum moment so i can draw similarly the moment diagram here it will be maximum here at this point while it will be zero at the two respective points and this line will be a third degree line because your load is first degree your shear force will be second degree and your moment diagram will be a third degree is a bending moment diagram but there's a qualitative bending moment diagram i didn't calculate the exact values but for the shear force you can see here at 3.3 is acting upward and then zero and then the right side there is 6.66 kilonewton hope you guys understand how to calculate how to deal with the triangular load acting on the simply supported beam and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video